regardless, we need to be prepared in general um, not to be a soft spined individual that can't take the persecution. And I'll tell you what, I found out today, I'm really irritated about this, that um, someone I like, a pastor, um, has requested for their church to be removed from the Faithful Word Baptist directory because they don't want to be associated with them. And I'll tell you what, this is the problem. And shame on that pastor and shame on any other pastors of these churches that are too limp-wristed and too weak to stand up and stand together with your Christians against the homosexual agenda. Now look, I don't care. And, and here's, the, here's the thing. Like, I like the guy. He's, he's a Christian. He's saved. He does soul winning. He believes in the King James Bible. It's a Baptist church. Independent, fundamental Baptist church. He believes homosexuality is wickedness. And he preaches against it. But just because they don't believe that they should be stoned, which I think is very clear. I, I Right now, I draw a question to anybody who's going to question God's laws. God came up with the laws of the Old Testament. They're breathed by the Lord. And if you think that you know better on how to run a country than God has ordained, you think that your laws are better. Oh, you know, and, and this is what drives me nuts, is that the same people that say, oh, they complain, they threw the Ten Commandments out of our courtrooms. The same Christians that are, that are complaining about the Old Testament law being thrown out of the courtrooms now will not stand up in defense of a man of God that is, that is believing that God's word is pure and that God's judgment is righteous on the Sodomites. And when you choose to be disassociated and break fellowship with a fellow Christian or a fellow church, over something like that, you are just giving the enemy that much more ground and you're letting them win. We need to stand together. Now look, if you think they shouldn't be put to, together, put to death, fine. If you don't think that should be the government's role, but you believe the Bible and you're against homosexuality, this is not a cause to break fellowship over. The Bible talks about people who need to be kicked out of the church, like drunkards and extortioners and people like that. Yeah, break fellowship with those people. Don't break fellowship with someone who simply believes that Leviticus 2013 should be an application in our government today, as it used to be, by the way. As it used to be in this country. People want to tout the Constitution of the United States and these Baptists that love the Constitution so much and they praise it and it was a work of God and we have this free country. Why don't you look at the history? And now you're going to break fellowship over fellow Christians over this issue because you're too scared. Because you're scared about retaliation from these perverts. Right on. Don't be scared. They're vile and wicked, and you need to be standing up and standing together instead of letting one man get ostracized for what he believes, for what the entire church believes. Because it's not one man. That's what the media tries to spin it as, is that, oh, he's an extremist. No, an extreme, if extremist means believing the Bible, then there's a lot of extremists out there. Okay, and there's a lot of people that don't stand up and speak their mind and they back down when confronted. And I guarantee you the only reason why he asked to be removed from the website is because one person called him. One. One person. You know why? Because one person called me. On Monday morning, one person called me and just said, you know, I saw your church listed on the Faithful Word Baptist Church directory. And I don't know, do you agree with what Pastor said? And, and I told him, I flat out said, yes, I believe that. I said, the words written in Leviticus 2013 are the same words that they were. They haven't changed since the day they were written down up till this day. And if you're asking if I believe the Bible, yes, I believe the Bible. And he said, thank you, have a good day. Or something to that effect. And that's it. Are people that scared of someone making one phone call like that, that it's just too much? Now we just, we just can't have any resemblance or any, we, we can't be linked to you in any way. Shame on you. 
Shame on you. You're shaming the word of God. 